So if you cannot get a subscription or if a subscription doesn't make sense for the kind of business or product that you have, if it's too much of a forced thing, the next best thing is a consumable product. What's a consumable? You get consumables all the time. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. Food. You know, that same example of your printer uh, ink, right? If you need to refill the printer ink. If you shave, you know, razor blades, right? Um, if you want to use the example of the app that I have, you know, instead of possibly, instead of getting people to subscribe to answer questions, right? For me to answer questions, because the problem with subscription is people, um, it's, it's harder to convert people to subscribers because they don't want to, they don't always want to sign up for paying regularly right it, it, it is in their minds a deterrent okay so it's easier sometimes to just get them to consume something and need it again so the example of my apps that I could give is for example if people instead of subscribing to asking me questions if they can ask me one question 99 cents per question right and so they can ask one question, another question, another question, another question, another question. And so pretty soon, and by the way, these questions might come in a pretty short span of time. Uh, pretty soon, uh, they might ask like maybe 10 or 20 questions in a day, right? Because they just have more questions about how to start a business. Of course, you know, I'd have to charge more than, 99, than the 99 cents example because it would take me a long time to answer. But, but you get the idea. Um, actually, mobile app games have perfected the consumable um, revenue model because sometimes you, if you play mobile app games, you will notice that to be the level, you have to buy points and to be the next level, you have to buy more points. And to be the next level, you have to buy more points and to be the next level, you have to buy more points or more lives or more like extra strength, you know, whatever the, the games have. And by the time you know it, <clears throat> you might have spent a significant amount of money because if, if, you, get, if you really get hooked to a, to a game. And though that's how consumables work, um, it's great if people actually need it, right? Like food. Um, or like in case of games, people get a little bit addicted for a while and then they kind of feel like they need it. Um, so the more they need it, food, clothing, razor blades, if they need it, you know, coffee is an amazing example actually, right? Consum it's a consumable thing, people don't subscribe, but guess what? They're, they're in Starbucks every day, right? They're, they're in the coffee shop getting coffee every day. So things like that, if you can figure out how to position your product or service as a consumable, um, you know, like uh, also, you know, a lot of home repair is like that, right? Uh, lawn care, like gardening or lawn care services, right? You get the product, you know, you get the service once, guess what? Next month, your grass grew. You have to get you have to get that service again. So, and again, next month, and again, and next month. There's no subscription, but you need it every month. So that's a second best way to get one customer to pay you, you know, thousands of percent more over time. 